The gender pension gap in Europe is 40.2%, which means that for every 100 euros that men receive, women receive less than 60 euros. How can that be the case? Women work too. In fact, women never stop working, and that's one of the reasons why they have lower pensions. But that's absurd. Yes, you're right. You see, pensions are paid to replace salaries for what is called productive work. Do you mean to tell me that rearing children, looking after everybody, making sure that everybody is fed so they can live, think, laugh and work, doesn't count? Yes, I'm afraid so. But surely that's discrimination. Yes, it is. But it mirrors how women are valued, or rather not valued, in society and reveals the true extent of inequalities between women and men throughout their lives. Can you explain how this happens? Okay, let me show you. Although I haven't started working yet, I can accept that I will have a lower function than men later on in my life just because I'm a woman. I may want to have children and I hope I will be able to take the maternity living without being sanctioned. It's absurd. We need more children for the future and yet the time spent raising future generation doesn't count. I call this sexism. I'm told I'm lucky to have a job, but there are so many young people unemployed. I'm told to save for a pension, but how can I do that when I earn so little? I'm told it's because the sector I work in is struggling to survive. I think we have got our priorities all wrong. I believe that everything was possible, that equality between women and men had been achieved. I wouldn't have to struggle because I'm a woman of the generation of the equal rights. And then I discovered that not only do I earn less than my male colleagues, I'm also likely to miss out on promotion if I decide to have a child. My contribution to the company's pension scheme are lower, which means that uh, at the end of the day, my pension will be less. And uh, I can now say that women's rights have not been yet achieved. When I was a law student, I thought a law degree would make me equal to men. I didn't realize at the time that the public and private pension schemes discriminated against women from the very first day of their career. Now I know better. The retreat, you can think, ah, I can do whatever I want to do, whenever I want to do it with whom I want to do it, uh, let's go to see uh, an exhibition, let's go to make a trip, and let's go to make that, just to take care of the grandchildren. But I know I will have to go on with work, so I wouldn't say I'm feeling uncomfortable. A few years ago I say, ah, I'm dreaming of it. Now I'm afraid of it, but that's the difference. I will my children looked after my partner, my parents and his parents too, and kept our house in order so that they could all contribute to society or simply follow their dreams. I was expected to do this. I was given no other choice. Or oh, I didn't think I had a choice. And now I get the impression that what I did was worthless. I feel I was taken for granted. Women care for society. It's time that society cares for women. Equal pension rights for women must be at the core of all pension reforms. Join our campaign. Together we can make it happen. Equal pension rights for women now.